Victoria, Victoria, come on. Oh, it's the mailman. A first class package in a plain brown wrapper. <laughs> hey, get out of there. Go, go, shoot. <laughs> Are you teasing my dog, Al? No, honey. I never did like that damn dog. <laughs> There you are. Hey, you sure looking good. Ah, uh, baby. <clears throat> See, I called you today and you didn't answer. Where were you? I went to the noon services at the church. I hope you weren't giving none of our money to that Reverend Ripoff and his Cadillac fund. <laughs> Listen, I'm warning you, I'm gonna cut off your checking account. It's okay with me, I got my visa. <laughs> You tell me you're gonna sit there and defy the man that made love to you last night? Rolling over on me accidentally in your sleep ain't my idea of making love. Nobody could roll over you accidentally. <laughs> well, not the four wheel drive. You just come on over here and help me go through these travel brochures. This is important. And so is this my favorite TV show The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. You just want to ogle at them young girls behind. I don't want to ogle. I mean, you know they're too skinny for me. I like a full-figured lady like you, honey. That way, if we lose the house, we can live in your bloomers. You ain't gonna have to worry about living nowhere if you don't get on over here and help me choose this retirement trip you promised me. Honey, you go ahead and choose. Anywhere you go is all right. Just send me a postcard every night. Okay. Here's one. World Cruise and only $30,000. <laughs> Hold it right there. Wait a minute. Ain't they got nothing to have around $50? $50? You spent more than that on our first date. I, I didn't know then you was going to wind up being my wife. <laughs> well, who was that Marine begging me to marry him before he went off to Korea? I was horny. <laughs> I didn't think I was coming back. <laughs> You promised me you wasn't coming back. That's the only reason I did marry you. Oh, you lying. You in love. Well, you were kind of cute when you had hair and a butt. I still got hair. I just parted a little wider. Yeah, but your butt's in the front now. I still got those lips of fire. <laughs> Come here, you old goat, and give me some of what you're good for. <laughs> Honey, I don't want to argue with you about no trip. Neither do I. I'd be happy with you anywhere. So why do we have to spend our retirement money on a trip? You cheapskate, you are going to give me a retirement trip. Here's your retirement trip. <laughs> You raise your hand at me. As long as you fat, black, and ugly, don't you even think about raising your hand at me. I would dare raise my hand at you, Victoria. It would leave my groin unprotected. You think I'm crazy? Surprise! Victoria, what's Elizabeth and the kids doing here? Why don't you open the door and find out? Come on in. Daddy, we just wanted to surprise you. What's up, Grandpa? Grandma. Oh. I'm gonna make some lemonade. Look at your little pudding. Grandpa, you got hairs growing on top of your nose. Go see your grandma. grandma. Curtis, what's happening with you? You get your head caught in a weed whacker? <laughs> No, this is the latest. It's called a fade. So, Gramps, man, how you living? Just barely. My cholesterol is high and my pressure is up, and I ain't been regular in years. No, no, no. See, that's how we say hello back in Philly. See, if a dude says, yo, how you living? You say, yo, man, I thought you knew. I'm living large. Now, if things aren't too chilling, you say, I'm to the curb. Oh, well, that clears it up. <laughs> Go see your grandma. Kim, what's your problem besides sitting in my chair? 
Grandpa, I'd be glad to get up, but don't you think you should say please? I mean, this whole king of the house thing, it's a little passe. Oh, excuse me. Would you please get your little passe out of my chair? <laughs> each other for almost a year. I'm not little Kimmy anymore. See, my eyes have been opened by the works of great feminist writers like, like Jermaine Greer and, and Betty Friedan. I've grown. Not quite enough. Your little bony butt didn't ruin my sweet spot. <laughs> but Grandpa, oh, don't see, see your grandma. grandma. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you, honey. You know, I didn't expect you till next week. To be perfectly honest, Mama, we didn't come just for Dad's surprise party. Shh. Surprise party? Didn't I tell you not to make no fuss about my retirement? And here you go planning a party. You want to fuss? Well, I'm fussing. I don't know what's wrong with you, Mike Jerry. Every time I tell you to do something, you don't do nothing about it. Just invite a bunch of people to eat up all your food. <laughs> Dad seems well. <laughs> You told me you were going to get rid of them cigarettes, Al. That's why I'm setting fire to them. <laughs> you trying to burn my dog? No, honey, just a lucky shot. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Is it the retirement? No, it's what happens after. See, I've been wearing the uniform so long. When I take it off, I don't know who I'll be. You'll be the same man you've always been. One of the first black postal carriers in Atlanta. And a very proud man who's just refused to settle for being a janitor. Well, that job didn't pay nothing. Besides, I wasn't going to take no food out of my family's mouth. That's right. You worked hard. And you earned their respect. I remember all of them saying, Al Royal can walk a route faster than anybody. I had to. Them dogs seem to have a particular taste for black postmen. <laughs> you've earned this retirement, Al. And you've earned the right to do whatever it is you want to do. You mean, I don't have to go on a trip? OK, we'll forget the trip. We'll forget the party. We'll just lay around, no responsibilities, like on our honeymoon. Our honeymoon? <laughs> now I'm looking forward to retiring. <laughs> Give me some of what you're good for. <laughs> Who in the hell is it? It's me, Daddy. Just like when she was three years old. It's almost like she could hear my pants hit the floor. Come on in, honey. There's something that I wanted to talk to the two of you about. What is it, baby? Well, Dexter and I... <laughs> That's what I wanted to tell you. But I don't understand. I knew you <laughs> no, baby, your daddy mean we didn't understand what you said. <laughs> okay. Dexter and I are getting a divorce. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Now, if you don't shut up, that's gonna be the last yes you hear in this bedroom for a long time. <laughs> Well, if there's anything you need, baby, we're here for you. Well, actually, I'm glad that you said that. There seems to be some sort of legal tie-up with the house, and I was hoping, till things get straightened out, that the kids and I could stay here. Of course you can. <gasps> here in Atlanta? <laughs> no, here. Home. With all those kids? Mother, father. <laughs> A honeymoon and no responsibility. I told you to shut up. Mom, Curtis and Hillary are fighting over the TV. Well, tell one of them to watch the TV in the kitchen. Oh, they're not fighting over what to watch. They're fighting over who cracked the screen. What? What? Victoria, get my belt. Al, you're not gonna whip them kids. I'm not gonna whip nobody. I'm gonna hang myself. <laughs> Now, 
take care of the kids, and keep the dog in the house. You let him out, and he runs all over the neighborhood. <laughs> It's easy when you know how. Hey, what you doing in my chair? I'm talking to you. Get out of there. Get out. I'm warning you. Oh, look at that beautiful French poodle. My mistake, it was a Buick. Sure, honey. I'll start. <laughs> Why are you sweating me? What, Ken? What did I do? Why are you sweating me? Curtis, if you were just going to make a fool of yourself, why did you even bother going to a meeting of the National Organization of Women? Hey, I'll go to anything of women. <laughs> Grandpa, can you help me? I'm not even going to use. That's how I feel about paying for your grandma's bikini wax. <laughs> Grandma! Grandma! Will you please call me daddy? What? Will you please call me daddy? What? It's the car! <laughs> what have you done, Al? I've been here with you. I ain't did nothing. Evening, Mr. and Mrs. Raw. Hi, Homer. What's up, Homer? I had to chase this youngin' down. He was behind the wheel of your pickup. Says he's your grandson. Never saw him before in my life. <laughs> Alexander, that's our grandson, all right, Homer. Kim, take that baby upstairs. Gramps, I didn't mean to diss anyone, but we out in the middle of nowhere, and I just want to meet some people. Hey, by the way, man, that truck is hype. <laughs> I love that overdrive. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you get on out there in the back and break me off a switch and bring it back in here so I can whip your behind. Wait, let me get this straight. You want me to go out back, tear off a hunk of tree, bring it back here so you can hit me with it? You got it. All right. Well, you know how boys are. <laughs> what? Curtis, get out of that truck. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Gramps. I don't want to run away again, but this switch business, man, just had no appeal. Listen, Homer, I'll take care of him. Hey, listen, Homer, if you see a Doberman out there, shoot him. <laughs> listen, you want to get yourself killed? I know how to drive. I'll have my license in a year. I'm not talking about you killing yourself. I'm talking about you getting killed. Sit over here. Look, Curtis, see? Homer is a nice local cop. He sees you out there taking his family truck for a spin, and he brings you home. But if a state trooper catches you out there and you black in a stolen vehicle, you might get shot, maybe killed. Guess I wasn't thinking. I know things are crazy for you now. You figure, well, I'll just act crazy because it can't get no worse. Wrong. It can get worse. See, life is hard, but it's a lot harder when you're stupid. <laughs> I understand. Hey, thanks, Gramps. Where are you going? In the house. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, 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 not that. The switch. Oh, Gramps. Grandma, may I have some more potatoes, please? Sure you can, darling. I already had three heavens. Dad, I'm sorry for all the trouble. And Curtis... Just drop it. Forget it. 
Curtis learned his lesson. Every now and then, a youngster needs a man's discipline. You could be right, Dad. After all, Dexter was never around much. He was always off to one city or another. Yeah, remember when I got the MVP in Little League? Dad missed the award dinner. And even when he was around, he was too tired to deal with anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain about your father in front of you kids. It's okay, Mommy. We know that he's not home. His shoes are empty. He's a sometimes daddy. At school, some kids have an all the time daddy, and some kids have an old daddy. I have a sometimes daddy. <laughs> you see, Beth, kids are stronger than we think. They have a way of handling it. And may I say something else? <laughs> Please do. Okay. This black is giving me gas. <laughs> Hillary, please. <laughs> Bye. That's my day. You're not going off in a car with a stranger, young woman. That's right. Yeah, we want to meet this fella. Listen, this is a rental family. My real family's in the shop. <laughs> Everyone, I want you to meet Universe Love Robinson. Universe Love? Yes, sir. I'll call you Tyrone. <laughs> Uh, listen, it's none of my business, but I hope you're not filling up your child's body with the flesh of an animal with a cloven hoof. No, these are pork chops. <laughs> you met him, now get him out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you go, there's a little announcement I'd like to make. Today, I applied for a job and enrolled in night classes in college. Oh, baby, that's great. That's great. Of course, I'm going to need your help with the kids till I finish my courses. You got it. Thanks. What you going to be? A doctor. <laughs> Mother, father. Get out of the way, Tyrone. It takes 20 years in night school to become a doctor. Hell, by that time, I'd be a great grandfather in a nursing home waiting on some nurse to give me an enema. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, you old fool? Get back in here. <laughs> Listen, Victoria, I'm too old to start raising another family. Our daughter needs help. And what about them three troubled children? They could be lost. That's what I'm gonna do, get lost. <laughs> Come back in here. Come in here. This is a new shirt. <laughs> Alexander Alfonso Royal. You know, you're right. You raised your children. You worked hard and you did a damn good job. And you don't owe Elizabeth nothing. So I can't ask you to do that for her. Please don't. And you don't owe them kids nothing. They're Dexter's responsibility, so I sure can't ask you to do it for him. You bet not. You don't have to do this. But I'm asking you to do it for me. Mother, father. I want to die with a remote in my hand, not a baby bottle. Please. Okay, but there's got to be some changes around here. If the kids don't like it, they can lump it. I'm the king, and they're my subjects. Oh, I love it when you take charge. Sit down, I ain't finished yet. <laughs> See, I'm gonna lay down the law. A, I want Curtis to keep his little narrow behind out of my truck. Uh -huh. B, I want Kim to keep her little bony butt out of my chair. Mm -hmm. And two, <laughs> I want Hillary, the little cookie monster, to stay out of the kitchen and the mashed potatoes. <laughs> See, she comes from your side of the family. She don't be a big either. <laughs> oh, honey, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. You can try. I will. <laughs> Time to show a little appreciation. <laughs> Can a man get a little peace and quiet? This guy is growling. I'm scared. Grandma? Come on, 
big. <laughs> Listen, honey, the sky's not growling. It's that ugly monster under the bed. Come back here. The only monster in this room is your grandpa. Listen, why did she go sleep with her mother? Best at night school. Oh. Grandpa, grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> Hillary's not in her bed. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Boy, you sure have some big lightning storms down here in Georgia. You sure do. Come on over here, honey. You're not too big. Get to bed with your grandma. That's it. Nobody else is coming in here. I mean, nobody else. Now, where the hell am I supposed to sleep? You falling asleep many a night on that chase lounge over there watching TV. Oh, of course, watching TV. I mean, nothing. It's funny. I'm in first place. been open if you'd have came home at a decent hour. I'm gonna have to teach him a lesson. Oh, he's just a boy, Alexander. Well, I'm just gonna ground him. Ah! He didn't hurt himself. The dog broke his fall. Good night.